So, who's ready to talk about more awesome glasses? Back to review day. So, today we are going to talk about Monaco from Leibach and York. This is their big guys fit. We'll go with that, right? Nobody wants to be called a big head. Maybe you do. I don't know. Anyways, so Monaco is their newest frame in the collection, actually. It's made for the really large-headed guys. So it's got a nice reach from the front to the temple. It's really nice and wide across the face. has a huge lens area, which is really nice, especially for a pair of sunglasses, even if you don't have a huge head, because you can make some adjustments to get that fitted down, even for the small face. So we've got some tricks we can play with there. It comes in a few different colors. Obviously, it's one of their newer ones, so they haven't done any of the customer one-of-a-kinds yet. Could be some awesome potential there, actually, because it's got a really nice thickness to it. Now, let's get down to that, actually. The frame itself, that's what you guys want to see, right? Because we know Leibach and York is awesome. We've talked about them before. I'll link that up above in case you're new to the channel or haven't followed along with that. Because we have new guys coming all the time. It's a growing channel. I love it, by the way, and I love all of you. But on to the Monaco. So this is it in its smoke crystal gray, which, as you can see, <laughs> it is a massive frame. The bridge fits a little bit different on this one. Now, it is a little bit more narrow, so it's a tighter squeeze on the bridge, which, believe it or not, most big-headed guys do have a little bit more narrow bridge. I don't know why that is, but that's the way that it is. So this frame is designed to fit that big head again. And of course we have the wider temples here, so it makes for a nice kind of flow around the frame and back to the ear. And again, you can see you've got that much longer reach back there. And this one, I want to say these were 150. Yeah, this is a 150 temple. So you've got a lot of reach back to the end of the ear. And aside from that kind of a crystal smoky gray, which is a really nice color, it also comes in the classic tortoise. You've got the darker look with a few specular highlights here and there in that tortoise and the acetate. You can see the temple core poking through just a little bit on that one. It does have this nice soft shape across the brit or the brow line, which is really good to keep it trimmed with the brow. Now, of course, it is a Leibach and York frame, so that means, above all else, it is ergonomically balanced for a really good fit. So even where this doesn't really fit well on me, there's not a lot of pressure here on the bridge, even though it's resting on those two tiny points on the nose. That thickness goes back far enough that it keeps the frame at a nice balance point, even though it is a larger size. And of course, you guys know, I talk about this all the time, don't pull off a pair of glasses with one hand. I'm doing it in this video. I only have two hands and I don't have a camera guy. Maybe one day we can make this a little bit fancier, right? If you guys keep subscribing, maybe that's a thing we can do. Who knows? I don't know. Who knows what happens? Now, as far as Monaco, and I'm going to switch back to this crystal gray because I do want to talk about the way these hinges are in this frame. And that is one thing I always love with the Leibach and York. You've got that really nice sunken in hinge without a lot of stuff going on around it. Now that's one place a lot of companies, you kind of get a slack there in that it's a sloppy hinge fit. So you don't have as nice of a look. But look, again, they're polishing absolutely spectacular on every frame. You've got that seamless edge from the temple to the frame front. Really nice thickness build there. Again, totally seamless where it goes in. And a nice build up for the wing tip on the temple and the bridge for a very nice fit. The thickness on this one, again, not really super thick. It's nothing like the Washington where you've got that 12 millimeter acetate. We'll get into that frame at another time. That is one of my favorites as it is the biggest statement piece in the collection. It's not like the Amsterdam where it's a more wearable, uniform, everyday fit. And the Monaco, which is of course the more wearable, everyday. If you're a bigger guy, it's... <laughs> I don't think I could wear that one every day. Maybe I could pull it off. I don't know. <laughs> Probably not. Not without some serious modifications to the bridge. Might make a fun pair of sunglasses, but nothing fits as well as the Amsterdam does. That's one thing I do want to get into on the Leibach New York, actually. They have such a nice bridge fit 
then there's some things that are universal across the collection. So, like if I know an Amsterdam fits, there's three other shapes in the collection that fit too, and that's pretty universal across their collection. So it's nice. It's really nice to be able to play with that shape if I know I've got a good fit here, and because they're ergonomically balanced, again, you'll see the temples on mine are a little bit more straight, and that's what balances out versus this where you've got a little bit more weight and heft to the temples to balance that larger frame front even once prescription lenses are in it. Now that is all I've got on Monaco. You guys will let me know what you want to see next. For now we're going to keep going through and doing the Live Off of York on the weekend videos. We'll see how it goes. It's fun. I enjoy it. It's something different. It's not Varnay. It's not the other big brands out there. So We'll keep going with this. But if you like this, let me know. If you're not a follower already, like, subscribe, follow along. We'll keep going through these awesome videos, and you can keep track of some of the latest and the hottest eyewear that you might not hear about from anybody else, because that's what I like to do. So I'll catch you guys next time.